I help businesses, freelancers learn chatbot marketing for their business to increase their leads and conversions. My name is DJ Dadula and I am the Marketing DJ. Subscribe to my channel and enjoy. All right, guys. So we're back in uh, this bot gate lessons. So again, if you haven't um, seen the the other tutorials, the other lessons that we uh, previously had, um, make sure to check out the description box where I put there the links where you can ac access the previous lessons and other uh, bonus stuff. Okay, so right now in this lesson, we are focused on one major thing. And we will divide it into three since uh, these three are uh, the most important things that you could consider in building your bots. So I'll show you now and you will learn how you can really grow your subscribers. So for us to in order to have, you know, sales, first of all, in, in bot cake, we need subscribers. So now we will set up three major uh, growth tools. Okay, so uh, don't be uh, alarmed with the terminologies. Uh, a growth tool actually is a tool on every chatbot platform. So in bot cake, uh, a growth tool is where you use and if someone clicks that or enters into the tool, that user will be the subscriber of your bot. So this grow tools is essential to a business when they want to grow their listing. Okay, so right now we will log into our bot cake. And then we will focus on this shop, we'll focus on the growth tools. Okay, so how do we create growth tools? So in Bot Cake, there if you click this growth tools, you will you know basically create a tool here. So there's no limit on creating bot tools or growth tools. I mean in Bot Cake, but you just have to understand what are the parts or essential uh, configurations and setup of uh, growth tools. You know you can read those stuff here, but I'll just show you how. So when we want to create grow tools, uh, there are two things that you need to know. The tool itself and the destination. So the tool, actually, you, you can choose either of these four. And then it should have a destination where a message should appear whenever it is a user enters this tool. So it's either you create a flow first or we create a tool first. So either way, we can create our growth tool. So first of all, we want to enter the name of this growth tool. Okay, so we should name this like a share link. So this three major tool is where you want your business to grow. So these are the Messenger Ref URL, the Facebook Ads JSON, and either of these two. So let me uh, tackle first these two. So a customer chat is a growth tool where you put on your website. So you need some a bit of coding here or not really a hard coded one, but you just have to know where to put the code so that a customer chat like this, oh, not, not like that, a customer chat would appear in your website. And if you have like a, an offline business, you can use QR code. So I'll show you later how to use those. But since I said three, but I'll show you four as a bonus for you. If you're watching this. Okay, so let's uh, see first the messenger ref URL. So a messenger ref URL, if you click this, this is a link generated by Botcake where you can just copy it and paste it anywhere you want it to be. Whether in your page, in your website and a blog an article an email or just you know share it to your friends all right so i'll show you how you can do that so we just created the tool and after you created a messenger ref url we want to select the destination so you need to have a message content where people will see the opt-in message so if this link where we can see that later on if this link is clicked, people will receive this message. Okay, 
So right now, BotK created one for you already, the opt-in message. You can just uh, check it by preview or you can select a pre-made uh, flow. So every message is a flow. Remember that. So what we need to do is just click preview. So if we click preview, BotK created this flow for you. Okay, so there's nothing going on here. You need to edit this. So if you want to edit this, it will go back to the flow. So make sure you watch the other video. You can see the I button there. So you can go back to the tutorial where I discuss the flow. So right now, we will just have like, hello, this is my content. Click. Oh, no, we don't have to do that. So, hey, hello, this is my content. And this should appear whenever the link is clicked. So let's say we want to save this. So this is your content. The message, if this, this link is clicked, the message will reply to that user. Okay. So now if we hit save and we go to the next step, we can see the ref URL generated. So ref means a reference URL. Because if you remember the lesson one, where you can see the I here, the lesson one, if you click this, so let's omit the uh, question mark and then ref. You just have to understand the structure of this URL, okay? So the first part is the me that m uh, m dot me slash the page ID, or you can use your username the page username you can use either of those this one is the exact um id that you need but you know doesn't look great right uh if you want to share it to your uh customers you need to have a page username so this this is the main url for your bot and then the reference is a generated number where it is referenced to a specific message so this is really good if you want to send a specific message to a specific customer uh, to um, communicate to them with a specific message for them. Maybe you want it to you want to share it to a partner, to a student, uh, to another lead or a customer, or you just want to send a giveaway or a, a coupon code or something like that. So you can use a reference URL, a ref URL pointing to another content. Okay, so what you need to do is just copy this or click this if you want to test it out. So you can see it opens Messenger. So if you are another user, like uh, um, send it to a friend, you can, we can see that in our preview here. You can see that in our bot. So we will focus on, on this Messenger. So take a look at my Messenger right now. Okay, I hope you see that. So we received the hello, this is my content. So you see here that you have entered, it says here, you have entered this conversation by following a link. Okay, so it this will tell the customer. If you're testing your bot, you should see this. You have entered this conversation by following a link in my shop. See that you used it. If you wish to stop receiving messages from them, you can turn off messages. So how do you turn off like this one? And then you can just turn off these messages. So people or the user can control this stuff okay so right now we have we've successfully shared or created and shared a messenger ref url that's how easy it is so there are other things that you can do here but we'll tackle this on um, a different um, video but you can add more actions like a lot of stuff here okay so in this one we will tackle this this is more powerful use of messenger ref url because it has a lot of it a lot in it and we can create like a referral or you know a um, affiliate marketing thing but not right now so that's how you create one so let let me show you how you can you know get your username here so this page is um just created a few days so i guess i cannot create a username so let's let's try like dj for testing so that's my username that's my desired username but i think it is already made so uh, ah yeah i already made one so if i refresh this create username so let's try it again uh dj for or number four testing something like that then want to create 
All right, so I'm all set. I can use this URL right now. Let me refresh this so I can see in my URL so you don't see that. But uh, if we refresh our bot cake, let's see if we have changed it. All right, so, uh, so right now we can use this, this link. All right, so let me copy and paste it here, but you don't have to do this, okay? But I'm just showing you that um, this uh, word here is your username. And then we can actually copy this and let's remove. All right, so if we want to copy and then let me show you how you can do this in Botcake. So yeah, yeah. So this one, and then let me, all right, so let me use it here instead. So let's copy this one and then paste it there. Then we can insert our page name here. All right, so make sure the, the, the structure of the URL is this. So m m.me slash dj for testing, that's, your, that's the page name you have you have created and then the the next thing should be question mark and then ref and then equals this ref but actually you can customize your ref parameter maybe you want like a amazing stuff make sure you don't, there's no space in it but you can use like um an under underscore here but to simplify things just use a simple word or you know just combine the words so if we use like amazing stuff uh, at the end of the ref so the ref url should look like this amazing stuff so if we if we save this and maybe we go to the flow where we want to link a flow inside a flow like a button going to another content let's say another message then click this link let's say click this link all right, so we will use the open website. Uh, previously, we used a select message, but now it's open website. Then paste it there. And click save. And then when we want to test this, so I'll go back to this uh, view. We want to test this out. So you see here in my bot here, it says, uh, hello world, and then choose a button below. So obviously, we don't use this, but only the click this link if you want to click this link it will, it will open a link and then it will open a messenger there you go so the content uh, appears to successfully uh, send to me right now thank you very much again for watching and learning with my channel make sure to hit subscribe and if you have a time please like this button like this video and share your thoughts in the comments below all the links and uh, you know possible uh, resources and uh, groups are in the description for you designed for you to learn and engage with us see you on my next video again and thank you very much